pinhole camera you could put on your lapel that would feed to your iPhone that would show you the past 8 to 12 hours of your drinking. <laughs> that way when you wake up in the morning with blood on the ceiling, a dead midget, no pants and a Napoleon hat and a Subway sandwich shop, uh, hey, you know how you got there. You don't have to be like, I'm not Colombo, how did this come to be? You know? <laughs> Just be like activating eye drunk. <laughs> Activate it, and all of a sudden on your iPhone it'll be like Sean Lynch, hour one. You know, be like, hey dude, it's okay. I gotta work in the morning. I'm just gonna have like one or two Coronas. I really can't get that fucked up tonight. Hour two. Caroline. Hour three. Are you know, freshman? Did you go to NYU? I was a major in all philosophy. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of money in that. Hour four. Hey, what the fuck, man? I didn't know there was your girlfriend, man. I'll fuck you up. No, fuck. Was that your cousin? I'll fuck him up, too, man. I'll fuck everybody up in this room, man. I know 18 types of karate, motherfuckers. Hour five. I didn't even because I didn't play football in college. What? Oh, uh, can I have a Big Mac and two large fries? <laughs> Thank you, Quidditch. You can listen. Hour seven. <laughs> Bing bong. Next stop, 527th Street. Bing bong. <laughs> You ever fall asleep drunk on the A train? Holy shit, Jack, you fall asleep drunk on that motherfucker, you wake up in Canada. <laughs> Shit's crazy. I was once, uh, I once was doing a, uh, a St. Patrick's Day show and I had a wee bit too much whiskey and I fell asleep on the A train and somewhere around like 280 bajillion street, I woke up to this little Puerto Rican kid running a knife along my jeans. Trying to cut my wallet out of my pants. Like my pants is a fucking Milton Bradley game or some shit. Joking grinning, oh, take your own knife. You can take his mind and improve your life. You know, hey, you know. He's broke, I got with it. You win. And that's a yay train. A Milton Bradley game. No, um. But yeah, so the kids. The kids taking the wallet out of my pants. I wake up drunk, like. <laughs> and I punch the kid in the face, right? And I thought I was all cool and whatnot until the kid gets up and he's like seven foot twelve. He's like, Ugh. and being drunk, I get up and I get those Irish beer muscles where I'm like, in the name of me father, and me father's father before him, your son be changing me wallets. You know, we're the only guys on the A train. It's a million o'clock in the morning, you know, and our eyes met. And we both thought the same thing. We both thought, well, this is awkward. You know? This is, uh... Say what? According to my rule book, you should be lying on the floor in a fetal position, begging for your life. <laughs> I'll fucking take your head off. And, um, so luckily, the doors on the subway open, Nick. And he, uh, he runs out. And like an idiot, I chase him. <laughs> like, I'm gonna do anything. Hey, come back here. I'm gonna cry on you. <laughs> And as I'm chasing him, like the one brain cell, the safety brain cell in the back of my cerebral cortex activates. That always happens there. Like when you got like yeah, that, that one brain cell that saves your life, you're like, uh, you don't want to run in traffic. Thank you, brain cell. <laughs> you're not in love with that fat chick. Thank you, brain cell. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> that one. Check for an Adam's apple. Thank you, brain cell. <laughs> the uh, what happened for me was, like, I'm chasing this kid, and, the, and that one brain cell was like, Your attention, Sean Lynch, the man that you are chasing is seven foot four and could kill you with a balloon, let alone the knife that he is holding that could open your jeans. Please return to your home on Saturday night and do your usual ritual, cry yourself to sleep while masturbating. This is then your one baby. Thank you! So, <laughs> so that's what I've done. Uh, all right, your next comedian, your first comedian for the evening that I'm bringing to the stage, is a favorite of mine. She is unbelievably funny. She has been a regular on, uh, well, she blew it out fucking last uh, Karma show, and she is one of my all-time faves. Please give it up for Justy Dodge, everybody. Yeah.